Welcome back to Bass Bites with Ann Luna. Today we're at Main Street Music in Fort Sumner, New Mexico. I've got some ideas for some strength and dexterity exercises today. So I feel like that's one of the big challenges really with any instrument, but especially an upright bass, right? Or a double bass. So, and being able to, being able to get this nice spread and doing slides or hammer-ons. Um, so. so being able to get our fingers where we want to and getting a nice sound. Um, anytime I want to remember what it's like to be a beginner, I just switch hands because I'm not that ambidextrous. So. If I want to remember how hard it is to learn to try to play bass when you're a beginner. And that's about all I have to do to remind myself that uh, my fingers, you know, it, it took some time in other words. So if you're seeing other people that seem to have a lot of strength and dexterity and can get around it, they've probably spent some time doing it. So here's some of the exercises that I did to help build that strength and dexterity and when I'm wanting to maintain that as well. So one of the, one of the exercises I found that's really useful is doing slides. So whether I'm doing a sliding scale or whether it's chromatic, major, um, minor, etc., or if I'm just kind of doing a partial sliding scale. So we'll demonstrate. So if I'm just up on an A on the G string, I can kind of check myself against my open A. I'm going to slide up. First, we're going to do kind of a partial chromatic scale. And I'm just on my index finger. It's already a fairly strong finger. I'm going to slide up to a B flat. And then back and forth. And do that a couple times. And it's a little bit of an ear training exercise too. But I'm getting my hand used to moving. And I'm building up a callus here. Now I'm going to slide up to the B. And I'm always coming back to my my home note, my root note, this A, in order to keep in mind what home is, you have a couple options. I like playing with a drone, and we'll do that momentarily, but you can also just go and hit an open string. You can create your own drone, right? So, so now I'm gonna hit this open A in between each of those just to give myself an idea of what home is and what I'm coming back to. And so I can hear how that's nice and dissonant, right? Now I'm going to go up to the B. Maybe up to C. Now C sharp. And you can go as high as you want. You can keep going the length of your string, right, pretty well. Then you would do that with each of your other fingers. But now let's give an example where I'm doing a partial major scale. So, so now I'm, I've switched to my middle finger, which is still a fairly strong finger. And I'll do each of these twice, probably just to give myself a better chance of, of hitting them. When you're sliding up, I feel like, or sliding down, you can hear how I was kind of adjusting, right? When I wasn't quite up to that E note. So, 
that's a major scale and I was doing my middle finger there. Now let's get a drone going. And if I'm just doing a partial scale, So you can see that finger's not quite as sure of itself at first, right? Or if I do the pinky. But these are great callus builders and I'm getting some ear training in there too. So another for, uh, variation on this is to do combinations of fingers. So instead of just really wearing my pinky out there and just, just sliding up and down on it, now let's do a strong finger to a weaker finger. Let's do a middle to a pinky. So I'm still sliding up and I'm just plucking twice, right? and so on, right? So what I like about that is I'm getting a lot of bang for my buck. It's kind of an efficiency exercise. And if I get a, a, a drum loop or a metronome going at the same time, then I've got a lot of structure and it's a really efficient exercise as long as you're not driving yourself crazy with it, right? Those slides you will end up using in your playing and we're helping to kind of we're really gauging the distance on our neck uh, by doing these exercises with scale patterns. So that's one way to build up some pinky strength. That is your bass bite for today. Thanks so much for tuning in.